any update on Steph? He's going to get an MRI tomorrow. So, um, you know, he was ruled out, you know, midway through the fourth. Uh, training staff told me he wasn't going to play the rest of the night. And uh, we'll see. Um, we'll see how he is tomorrow. Did they say anything about the level of pain that he was uh, no, I didn't. I didn't ask about that. I mean, I just tr trust their judgment. And they said he's he's not going back in, and and I haven't really, you know, I just checked in with him briefly, um, but haven't had a chance to go into detail uh, with him. How? I mean, I'm just, some of the conversation was brief, but what were his spirits and his like? Uh, spirits were were um, good. you know, Steph's always um, a guy with a. Uh, a great outlook on life, so he's um, he's in in good spirits, and um, we'll we'll hope for the best. What's the about performance before having to go out? It's just stunning. Um, he he was he just you know basically put us on his shoulders. You know, for the, the minutes he was out there, he was generating so much offense. He was getting to the line. He was um, you know getting the ball to other people. Um, he was absolutely brilliant, and um, and then I, I thought the guys did a, a great job of fighting, um, you know, throughout the third quarter before he got hurt, and then after, you know, down down the stretch in the fourth, we couldn't get stops, but our guys were battling. I was really proud of the effort. Um, I didn't didn't like the first half at all, and felt like we were feeling sorry for ourselves. And I, I like I liked the way our guys competed together. In that second half, that visual of him at halftime, hands on his knees, kind of huffing and puffing, frustrated, but obviously doing well himself, kind of said a lot. What was his message at halftime and yours as well? He didn't have a message. He, uh, my message to the to the group was, um, it's it's about competing. It's about um, weathering the storm. You know, um, this has been a, a, a tough. Uh, start to the season. We're in a tough stretch. You, you know, maybe it's going to get tougher if Steph's out for a little while. Um, I mean, if he's out, it'll for sure get tougher. But um, you just got to persevere. You just keep playing and you keep fighting. And um, it's a long season. Um, the thing I'm very, very confident about is um, if we're healthy, um, we feel like we can beat anybody. I think this team has proven that. And so. Um, our job is to, you know, to get get there. You know, we've got to find a way to navigate this season and um, continue to bring along uh, the young guys. I thought both J.K. and and Moses did a great job tonight. Um, so fun to see them grow. And, uh, you know, we've got to continue to to um, find rotations that that make sense as guys are in and out uh, with injury and. Just keep fighting, and if we do that, um, and I feel good about our team long term, even though um, it may be a, a rocky ride to get there. You really rearranged your rotation in the second half. I guess what went into your initial rotation, which included Jerome Glenn early, and then you know wide flip. Yeah, we just we needed more space on the floor. We just couldn't, um, you know, couldn't get um, anything going in the first half. I think we had 52 points and. Down 20, we had, we had to change the just the the feel, the vibe of the game, and so J.K. gave us a good boost, um, gave us a little more, uh, you know, of a dive threat into the rim, and then that created some some spacing for other guys too. And um, as I said, I, I thought the biggest uh, change was not the lineup; it was just our mentality, and I liked the way the, the guys uh, competed together. I don't know. I mean, we